In today's video, I'm going to go through how you can remove these areas from the Lifter on my student dashboard, uh, the areas like my courses, my achievement certificates, and memberships. In a previous video, I went through how you can remove these tabs on the side, but in this one, we'll go into these main sections. This is Will Middleton. Let's jump in. So we're going to need to head to this piece of Lifter LMS documentation called How Do I Add Custom Code to Lifter LMS or Launchpad? So I know custom code can be a little intimidating, but all we're going to be doing here is copying and pasting material that already exists. And I'll make sure to put links and resources down in the description of this video uh, to let you know or to show you everything I did um, in the video here. So uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is download this plugin called Lifter LMS Customizations. We can click on this download link and that'll download there. And I'm going to want to go and upload that to my site. So I'll head to the WP admin on my test site here. I'll go to plugins, add new, and then I'll upload, choose a file, choose the customizations and install that. Then I'll activate. And the next place we're going to want to go after that activates is to the plugin editor on the sidebar here. And I can head to this area to select which plugin I want to edit. I'll edit Lifter LMS customizations and select. And so there's a lot of code in here, but the main area we're going to want to focus on is this area here. Add your functions below this comment and add above. So we can just paste in uh, what we're looking for in this space here. And what we're going to want to do is uh, head back to our documentation here on how to add custom code and scroll down. There's an area called removing actions. And I'll just want to copy this code here and then command C head over to my edit plugins area here and uh, command V paste that in and we can see there's an area that says your code here now this is going to remove an action but we need to tell it uh, what action to remove and I'll put this code down in the YouTube uh, video description as well uh, remove action uh, but I'll want to copy this and then paste it right below this we'll just delete that and we have this remove action and it says uh, Lifter LMS student uh, dashboard my courses and it has uh, 10 right here and I'll paste a link here as well but you can see Lifter LMS template student dashboard is 10 here and uh, this is how I can remove the other ones and I'll show you that in a second but if I simply uh, update my file now and then head back to my student dashboard this is everything we need to remove the my courses area so now that my courses area is gone and we can go through how we can remove the other ones so uh, Let's say I want to remove the uh, certificates and achievements. Those are two very common ones to want to remove. And uh, it's pretty easy to do that. We can simply uh, copy over here my achievements, command C, head back to the plugin editor, and just replace that area template student dashboard, command V. And then we'll want to change this out to, I believe it's 20. Yep, that one's 20 uh, from 10 to 20 there, and update file. And then once this finishes loading up, we should have the courses back, but the My Achievements area here should be gone. Awesome. So if you want to remove multiple uh, areas here, you can pretty easily just copy what you have done here, the Remove Action. You don't need to copy the whole thing, just the Remove Action. And I'll do Return, Remove Action. And instead, I'll want to remove Certificates as well. So I'll head over here, grab the Certificates, and that one is 30. So we'll say, rather than achievements, we'll switch this one out to certificates and then change this to 30 and then update file. And now I can head back to student dashboard, reload, and the certificates are gone. So that's how you can uh, add this code into the Lifter LMS customizations plugin to remove these areas from the student dashboard. This has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.